Hi, I'm Jonathan Hall. In this video, I will be showing how you can configure GitLab CI integration to work with GitHub. I've already blogged about this on my blog. I'll have a link in the description. If you find this video useful, please be sure to like it and subscribe for more content as I make it available. For this demonstration, I have chosen one of my own open source projects, which is currently using Travis CI. So I will be migrating the configuration from Travis CI to GitLab CI. You are using a different CI tool or none at all, the process is roughly the same. So this video should still be informative. To give you an idea how my project is currently configured with Travis CI, I've just created a very simple uh, pull request here. Uh, you can click on the show checks and you can see that my CI is currently passing on Travis CI. By the end of this video, it should be running on GitLab CI instead of Travis. So the first step in setting up GitLab CI with GitHub is obviously to create your GitLab account. Go to gitlab.com, click register, and fill in your information. This message at the top is important. It says to check your email to verify your email address to unlock CICD. So please do that. Okay, if this is your first time using GitLab, you should see this screen. And to create a new project, you can just click this large Create a Project button. If you've been using GitLab before, you may not see this screen, and that's fine. You can do the same thing by clicking this plus sign, and then New Project. Both do the exact same thing. Now on this page, you see four tabs. We're only concerned with the one on the far right, CICD for External Repo. And then click GitHub. Here we need to provide the personal access token to allow GitLab to communicate with GitHub. It's a fairly straightforward process. You can see the link right here for personal access token. Click on that. I'm going to right click and open in a new tab. All right, now I switch to the new tab where I've been taken to the proper screen on GitHub. Uh, all I need to do here is click generate new token. And now I need to type a descriptive name. Let's call this one GitLab CI integration. That way I'll know in six months time what I'm using this for. Now, you may also notice on the previous screen here, uh, it says we need the repo scope. So that just means to click this checkbox right here. You don't need to change anything else on this page. Just hit generate token at the bottom. And now we have our new personal access token. That's just these random letters and numbers. Click the icon here to copy into your buffer. Go back to GitLab. And then I'm hitting Control V to paste it in here. Now I click Authenticate. At this stage, GitLab will communicate with GitHub and download a list of all of the repositories I have on GitHub. Now, in my case, the one I want to demonstrate is called Anki, A-N-K-I. So I'm just going to search for that in this search bar. All right, here it is. So I don't need to change anything on this page. I just want to hit the Connect button. This synchronization process can take anywhere from just a few seconds or minutes up to potentially a few hours if it's a really large project or if the servers potentially are very busy. Okay, uh, the synchronization is done. Uh, we can click go to project just for the fun of it to uh, see that we now have a fully functional GitLab project. So the next thing we need to do now is configure GitLab CI. Okay, so here I am in the local checkout of my Anki project. Uh, you can see I have a few source files here, nothing especially exciting. But the most important thing right now is to start a new feature branch. Uh, I hope you make feature branches for all of your changes. Now with the new feature branch in place, I'm going to open my existing Travis CI configuration and the new GitLab CI configuration. This file doesn't exist yet. The file name here is important. It should be .gitlab-ci.yml. Here on the left, you can see my existing Travis CI configuration. And on the right, you can see a place where I'll be creating my new GitLab CI configuration. Before I do that, though, I do want to talk a moment about my existing configuration uh, so we know what we're aiming for when we configure GitLab. So on line one here, you can see that my project uses the Go language. On line four, you can see that I'm using Go version 1.12. And 
And lines 7 and 8 show the two commands I'm running in my continuous integration pipeline. The first one simply installs a couple of dependencies for my project, and the second command actually runs the automated test suite. Now the first thing I'm going to do with my GitLab configuration is define the stages I want to run in my pipeline. For this demonstration, I'm only doing one stage, so that's very simple. Now I'm going to actually define the test stage, but I'm not going to run my actual tests yet. At this stage, my only concern is whether or not GitLab and GitHub are working well together. So I'm going to create a dummy test that should just succeed easily. Now I will commit my new file. And push it to the server. Now over on GitHub, I am creating a pull request based on the commit I just pushed. Now that the pipelines have had a chance to run, we can click on show all checks and we can see that uh, as expected, Travis CI pipelines, which haven't been changed, succeeded, but also our new GitLab CI pipeline passed as expected. Now I'm ready to flesh out my GitLab CI configuration the first thing I want to do here is to tell GitLab to use Go version 1.12, the same as I was doing in Travis. Now GitLab by default uses Docker images to run its continuous integration pipelines, which makes it very simple for us to do this configuration. All I need to do is to provide the name of a Docker image that has Go 1.12 installed. I can use the official Docker image from Go for that. The next step then is to get our two commands running. That's pretty straightforward. I can really just copy and paste those and add some indentation. This should be a complete configuration now for GitLab CI. Why don't we save and commit this and see how it works. Back over here on GitHub, I can see that my new commit has arrived. However, my pipeline has failed. Let's click on details and investigate. So here we are now on the GitLab pipeline page. There's some information here that's been synchronized from GitHub, in particular the name of the branch we're using, the name of the pull request, uh, etc. And you can see that we have one job and one failed job. Here's the failed job. Let's click on that and see what's going on. So down here we see the error message, can't load package, github.com, flimsy Anki. Now I actually expected this problem because I've seen it before on other projects I've done. And although this is a very Go specific problem, it's useful to illustrate our broader point, And that is that each continuous integration tool makes its own assumptions and they aren't always 100% compatible with each other. In this particular case, the problem is that while Travis CI uh, put Go source code where it was expected, GitLab CI does not. So when I try to run the Go tests, it can't find the files to run. That's easy to fix, and I will do that in just a moment, but I want you just to be aware that this might bite you, especially if you're migrating from an existing CI tool rather than starting from scratch. You may run into some similar problems with uh, different environment variables being set, different uh, paths, or uh, other similar things. So just be aware of that and be prepared to do some troubleshooting. So now to solve this problem, it's really quite simple. I just need to create a directory where the files are expected to be found by the Go tools. And then I need to create a sim link from where GitLab CI puts the files to where they're expected to be. That should do it for us. Let's uh, commit this and try it out. Back at GitHub, we see that the pipeline has now succeeded.
Oh, the only thing left to do now is to clean up our old Travis CI configuration. So now back over on GitHub, we can look at the most recent progress. We see that we only have GitLab CI configured now, no longer Travis CI, and it's passing. So this pull request can be merged. We're done.